I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Tuesday October the 10th and we're overwhelmingly calves now uh, you know these calves have been creeping in creeping in last week we had a pretty big swelling of calves in your auction receipts but uh, starting out on this Monday it's just getting overwhelmingly calves and a lot of those sales uh, especially the ones with a roof over them you wouldn't be able to hear yourself think now uh, a lot of ballers and, and even some of your wean calves will We'll get to balling when they get around those uh, unweaned calves and they get to hollering for their moms. But a uh, lot of calves and it's it's really making an effect on the market. It, it's making the, the trends on your true yearling cattle even more sharply higher. And uh, But on your, on your weighted averages and a lot of your weights, it's sucking those down because a lot of those calves are coming in fleshy. And if they're not weaned, uh, of course, they're going to suffer a pretty severe discount. But look at the board December live cattle on Monday was up 87 cents to end the day at 116.92. Your October spot live contract sitting at a 111.02. So uh, that bodes well for this week's fat cattle trade. November feeder cattle down a quarter on Monday at 155.50. Look at your weighted average on last week's fat cattle trade. Ended up with 75,600 heads sold in the five area feeding region, which is not bad. Uh, you know, we were talking about how the Packers were going to be so hard to trade with because they had contracts that they could pull. Well, they had to give more money up and they're going to have to pull some contracts to, to fill their needs for this, this coming week and the next. But uh, you look at uh, your weighted average on live steers was 109.45. Probably a pinch better than we really thought it would be. So it was about half 109 and half 110. And anyway, that 109.45 was up a dollar 44 compared to the weighted average for the previous week's trade. Your dress steers, even though it was a light offering, because overwhelmingly your uh, your cattle traded on a live basis, they had a hard time finding a place to trade on a dress but uh, a lot lighter run of, of uh, dress cattle on your steers 172.43 they range from 172 to 174 with a sprinkling as high as 175.50 but that 172.43 was up 70 cents from the previous week's weighted average you look at your feeder cattle your real-time index on beef market central based on the 800 pound steer in the 12 state region there uh, ended late Monday at 153.74. Now that was down a dollar 13, but like we've been talking, more and more uh, calfy type offerings are getting into the seven weight uh, range, so uh, that's pulling that RTI down a little bit. But uh, you look at some big Monday markets: Oklahoma City National Stockyards 4,800 head, fairly light run for them. Feeders six to eight dollars higher, but before you start getting real excited about that six to eight dollars higher, that would be on true feeder cattle. Almost half of the run was cattle weighing under 600 pounds, so even going to be a lot fewer of those true feeder cattle, steers and heifers, and you wouldn't have been able to get very many loads of true feeder cattle out of there. Mostly calves selling steady. Joplin had 5,100 head on Monday, uh, kind of mixed up between yearlings and calves, but they sold from steady to $4 higher. You look at a, a market up in the Northern Plains on Monday, McCook, Nebraska, Tri-State Livestock Auction there, had 3,325 head of cattle. They sold three to $8 higher on all classes, so that would sure be a, a stronger trend. Look at some individual quotes there on Cattle Market Central. Faith Livestock Commission in South Dakota uh, late in the afternoon at 4.40 in the afternoon on Monday had 105 head of steers weighed 562 at 192 and back at McCook at Tri-State Livestock Auction there in Nebraska all the way down at 7 o'clock at night on Monday had 63 head of 894 pound steers bring 161.35 that's your feeder flash for Tuesday.